Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we're out in this lovely scenery uh, by Chelsea Harbour. Um, just wanted to share with you this amazing location. Look at that. So beautiful. And look at this sunset. So beautiful. So beautiful. Anyways, back to the video. Right, so today I want to talk to you guys about how I do my keyword research. Yes, you heard it. Um, there's been a lot of people um, asking me on my Facebook group, um, which is uh, Merch by Amazon Ninjas, and on my YouTube channel, uh, the English and the Arabic one. Everybody wants to know about keyword research. So today, 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 guys, we're gonna talk about keyword research. So when I get back home, I'm gonna do my tutorial as usual. I wanna share with you this amazing view right here because it's absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous by the river. Anyways, right, so I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, this is Adnan back at you with another video. If this is your first time here on my channel, I share my journey and processes on Merch by Amazon and POD in general. Um, and if you haven't seen my last video guys where I share how I made $8,000 from one t-shirt alone, check it out above in the info card. I'm going to leave it up there. So let's get stuck in and let's talk about how I do my keyword research. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and comment on all that good stuff. And make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to be sharing my account updates and I'll be announcing a giveaway. So stay tuned. So if you've watched my video where I talk about how I find profitable niches, we looked at the Uncle Sam Dabbing design, this one right here. Um, so for the sake of consistency, we'll continue using this example, all right? So guys, I'm gonna share with you eight ways I like to do my keyword research. Uh, but firstly, uh, let's grab a uh, text edit. I always like to open it so I can uh, record my keywords that I find. So the first one is um, Amazon, you know? Don't look uh, anywhere else. Just start with Amazon first because it's got everything that you need. So let's say we're looking at this tab in Uncle Sam t-shirt here. How do we find good keywords for it? So the first thing is obviously tab in Uncle Sam. Okay. Next, um, what's this for? Tab in Uncle Sam. 4th of July. Great. 4th of July. July and then you have to think um, what else comes with 4th of July what is 4th of July so 4th of July is Independence Day right Independence I hope I typed it right no I didn't uh, Independence I think it's like this there we go Independence Day and then what else um, this guy is saying for boys uh, kids, boys, men, kids, boys, men. I like to look at the title because a lot of people um, kind of, you know, put in their best keywords in the title. So this is a great way. And before you shoot the messenger, um, you know, you're guilty of it as well. Anybody who's looking at keywords, they're looking at people's titles and bullets. But obviously we're not saying copy people's uh, titles and keywords word for word no don't do that you know just look at what's what you know what's selling and and check what keywords they're using the likelihood is they are using some high traffic keywords but this is not the only method this is one of the ways um so you could potentially open it and check what other stuff they are using so that being uncle sam fourth of july independence day gift very important uh gift so you could use gift uh, gift and next uh, let's put that here uh, gifts perfect for men uh, this is keyword stuff and I'm not gonna do that okay dabbing so dabbing dance uh, we've used dabbing already we're not gonna use dabbing. we're gonna use dab dance dab dance uh, American flag very important American flag uh, USA as well, Marika as well, 
Marika, what else? Uh, digital. It's where national holidays. You could put national holidays as well, but then again, um, it's not related to Fourth of July. But then again, because it's got American flag, then you could say national holidays. I don't see any problem with it. So you could put national holidays. Yeah, national holidays. Veterans Day. That's fine. Memorial Day. President's Day, Labor Day, this is a lot of keywords, right? Uh, I would say you need to choose what sort of keywords are relevant to your design um, because, you know, there's a fine line between putting a lot of keywords and keyword stuff in. So you guys need to make sure that you know what you're doing. You, you know, you need to, basically, it's a risk that you have to take. You know, would I put in all this much personally in my list? And I wouldn't. Um, but then again, you know, you make that judgment call whether you want to include so many keywords. Uh, I think if you use them in a structured way and if, you're, uh, if your sentences are making sense, then it's fine. But if you put, you know, all of the keywords um, uh, separated by commas, I don't think that's OK. Um, so moving on. Um, OK, and again, who is this T-shirt for? Is it for a mum? Is it for a dad? Is it for boys? Is it for girls? Um, it depends on what sort of t-shirt that you're making if your t-shirt is for kids then uh, definitely say kids t-shirt however now in the beta um, uh, new upload system I would stay away from putting kids in your title purely because some uh, apparel is not designed for kids like tank tops uh, hoodies and the way it works is it will get appended uh, into your title anyway and if you've got kids gift tank top you know that's not okay because tank tops are not for kids okay so just bear that in mind um and i would look at uh, another title for example what do they have here double dabbing uncle sam fourth of july um yeah gifts so a gift is quite important um dab shirt so another way of saying dabbing we've put the dab dance already uh dabbing uncle sam same same uh freedom that's another word that you could include so you could put freedom what else so the reason why i'm looking at these top designs is because they are selling for a reason and people have well a because it's uh you know they are good designs b because people are finding these good designs through good keywords and you know it doesn't take somebody who's smart to, um, you know, think that you can actually find these good keywords within the listings. So just go into the listings and try and guess what people have tried to search for. So I'll go in here again. And this is probably the same design. So um, let's go here, for example. This is a V-neck. Uh, they would have the same keywords anyway. So what have they used? Funny. So funny is a quite overused keyword but you know i could use it sometimes or a lot of the time actually reason why is because some people might say you know funny fourth of july t-shirt and it might you know your t-shirt might come up so funny gifts all of that stuff uh where were we here um marika so they've used marika they've used independence day uh, national holidays veterans day so you could actually you know, include these kind of holidays if you want to. President's Day, Labor Day. Uh, I wouldn't put Thanksgiving. Like, what's the point in putting Thanksgiving? Because is it related? Is it not? I, I, I personally wouldn't put Thanksgiving. Birthday, if you, if you think this is related to a birthday, you know, put it. But, uh, you know, how many keywords are you going to stuff in this, in this listing? Just use the main, main, main keywords. Christmas, yes, it could be relevant to Christmas, but is it? Are you actually doing it just for a Christmas shirt? No. So just don't put Christmas. There's no point. Mother's Day, Father's Day. So it looks like this list in here has just stuffed a bunch of keywords that they know are high traffic. Um, but I don't think this is the best smart way. Um, let's have a look. Da -da -da. Costume. Uh, is it a costume? No, it's a V-neck, man. Um party occasions what's the likelihood of somebody saying 
party. I mean, yeah, party 4th of July t-shirt, you could, but it's not like the, you know, the best, best keyword to use. Um, kids, boys, girls, teens, keyword stuff in galore, this is grandma, grandpa, the whole family, yeah. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Uh, sorry if this is your t-shirt, nothing personal, I don't know who you are. Uh, now, this is one of the ways, right? Is using Amazon. Just go into the top selling t-shirts, check out what keywords they're using, be smart about it, try and use your instincts, try and use, um, you know, your judgment call on what keywords to use, what keywords not to use. Um, you just try and put your head into uh, the customer's mind and try and guess what they might be, you know, searching for, what they could type and make it into good sentences and use those keywords in those sentences. So this is the first way. The second way that I like to use, which is quite effective, is Merch Informer. Uh, just to mention, to put it out there, I'm not sponsored by Merch Informer. This is my own software. I pay for it on a monthly basis for my own money. And uh, I'm not uh, sponsored by uh, Merch Informer in any way, shape or form. I do have an affiliate link if you guys would like to use it. Um, you get 20% off. Um, you can su support the channel that way. That would be great. So how do I use it? There's two ways that I use Merch Informer for keyword research. The first thing is I'd go to this module right here, product search, and I type whatever I'm looking for. So for example, Dabin, uh, Dabin Uncle Sam shirt. And I like to go to in, in search in title only because I know a lot of people or most people actually if they know what they're doing they would actually put all their good main high traffic keywords in the title so that way we avoid uh, getting keyword stuff in results okay and we do search I've already done it so I'm not going to wait for it to search um, we get this list of keywords right here. So these are the main keywords that have been used in all of these designs that we're getting back from Merch Informer. So we have 4th of July, their Uncle Sam, uh, Kids, Dabbing, Great, Independence. So you guys pick and choose whatever keyword you want to use. Um, obviously not loser, not larger. Yeah, if you've been much uh, by Amazon enough, you, you would know what to use and what not to use. So you can't use, for example, uh, size, you know, stuff like that, because Merch Informer picks it up from the whole listing. So you need to be careful, right? You need to know what sort of keywords to use. Independence Day, I would use, um, you know, if the design is for boys, I would use for boys, USA. And what you would notice is a lot of these keywords, we've already picked them up from um, the previous method, which is, you know, straight from Amazon. Um, so it just depends. I mean, it depends what you're comfortable with, but you can get pretty much the same results. It's what you prefer to work with. Um, veterans, we've seen that already. Um, party. Yeah, you get the gist of it. They, these are the kind of keywords that you could use from Merch uh, Informer. The other way, guys, is... I would go to Keyword Cloud and uh, you could choose today or the previous day or whichever date actually. But for this example, we'll use today. What I like to do is I like to skim through one word keywords here. So as you can see, gift is a very high traffic keyword, one word keyword. So I would use gift uh, or gift idea. I'd use funny if the design is funny. Again, don't just throw in keywords that are relevant just because they are high traffic. Y you know, you will be done for keyword uh, stuffing. You don't want to do that. Um, vintage, you want to uh, check if the design is for boys, girls, mums. You get the gist of it. Retro, yeah, if the design is for dogs, then you include the dog. Yeah, you get the idea. And Sometimes, you know, this module can help you find in different niches. So if I'm looking at, you know, uh, Cinco de Mayo, look, three word keyword, Cinco de Mayo, that means that people are typing this keyword right here onto uh, Amazon. Um, this is what I love about this module is it gives you what people are typing onto Amazon and it can give you ideas about what's selling right now. And then what you would do is you would go into Amazon and type in that keyword 
uh, and check what that niche is like at the moment. You know, how is it do doing? So Red for Ed at the moment is selling as well. Don't mess with. So just literally type that into Amazon uh, and follow it by shirts and see what comes up and then, um, you know, dive deep into into that niche and try and not to stay in the surface and see what's happening in that niche. You might, you know, find your next bestseller. Who knows? So the third way is using this website right here, uh, twinword.com. It's a paid website. I personally don't have a uh, membership. Uh, I don't use it that often, but I know that it gives you three tries or th two tries a day or something like that. Um, so check it out. Yeah, so basically, you just put your keyword in here and it comes up with a bunch of keywords. It tells you how many monthly searches um, have been done on uh, each of these keywords right here. Um, uh, it's a little bit gimmicky. I mean, it's very similar to uh, K Google Keyword Planner. If you've got um, Google Keyword Planner, definitely use that. It's they, It pretty much does the exact same thing. So this is one way of doing it. Okay, or you can use uh, Google Keyword Planner anyway. Fourth way, guys, is this website right here, lsigraph.com. It does the same thing as the previous website. So you just put in your phrase or your keyword that you're looking for, and it gives you a few other ideas. So girl, 4th of July, patriotic. Um, yeah, a bunch of different ideas that you could incorporate. Or if you're looking to find a niche that's related to 4th of July, um, it gives you some ideas to use. So here, American flag. Don't use that. Don't use Nike. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, yeah, so you get the gist of it. Um, so it helps you either with idea generation or with finding keywords um, to use for your for your listing. OK, the fifth way, guys, that I've got for you is using this extension here, which is really amazing called Keyword Everywhere. Uh, it's a Google Chrome extension. Check it out. It's It's free anyway. Um, so when you type in anything on uh, Google right here, it comes up with a bunch of related keywords and a bunch of stuff that people have searched for. So really, really, really amazing. And you can export a CSV like I did here um, and you can analyze it however you want. It shows you volume of searches, um, CPC, um, if, if, uh, if, if you guys are running any ads, any Google ads and things like that. So uh, definitely check out this extension. Really, really highly recommended. And it's free as well. So the next way is this website right here, app.scientificseller.com. Um, it's quite slow, um, but it can lead some, to some good results. Uh, it claims to use Amazon keywords um, typed by buyers only. And uh, it uses the Amazon search bar autocomplete feature. So um, yeah, definitely use it and let us know how you feel. So the next tool is this one right here, sonar-tool.com forward slash US. Um, it does the same thing again. Just type um, 4th of July shirt and click ping and it comes up with all of these uh, searches. It is a uh, paid, it has a paid version and it gives you more results and stuff like that. I don't pay for it if I'm honest with you. Um, I don't necessarily have to use it because I use uh, Amazon and Merchant Informer primarily. But this is another way of finding uh, keywords for you guys if you find it more comfortable. Um, and it comes up with this frequent words feature here. So you can see what, uh, what are the most frequent keywords that come up. And you can see pictures of designs um, where these keywords have been used. It just, just gives you a bit uh, more of a visual way of looking at it. Um, so yeah, it's the same principle. You know, you find long tail keywords, you use long tail keywords. Um, if you find certain keywords that you haven't found in other tools, then, you know, you see whether they are good high traffic keywords or not. And yeah, you use them. And a lot of it, guys, is just common sense, you know. It's just common sense. And then, you know, when you've done this for a long time, you kind of know what certain keywords to use and what certain keywords not to use. Um, so definitely just experiment with it. And the more T-shirts you sell or the more products you sell, because we don't just have T-shirts, the more products you sell, the more, uh, you know, you have an understanding and idea about what T-shirts that sell and what keywords that you should go after in certain niches and in certain 
um, types of designs and that kind of thing. It just takes practice. But, you know, this will give you a little bit of a, a basic idea about how to use keyword research. I think this is more than enough for what you need. The next tool that I use is an extension called Jungle Scout. It's really, really good. I, I love it. Um, I bought it about two years ago, I think, and I never looked back. I use it, uh, I'd say, about 60% of the time. Um, it just makes the whole keyword research easy and it kind of gives it to you on a golden plate. Um, so the way to use it is you would go to Amazon, you type in your uh, you know, niche or keyword that you're looking for. Um, or the niche that you're trying to get into, uh, in this case, dabbing Uncle Sam's shirt, and then we'll click on the extension. What it will do is it will pull all of the t-shirts uh, that are in that page, um, and you can actually add different fields, and it gives you a lot more information, but I won't go into more depth here. But what you want to do is you want to click here, Associated Keywords. It comes up with a bunch of keywords that have been, have been used in a, an entire page of uh, Amazon searches and it highlights in red uh, sorry it highlights in uh, in bold the main keywords that have been used and also you can download these keywords which is an awesome feature and then open in Excel and you can do data you can filter by uh, descending like that. Descending. Look, Uncle Sam. So you could see Uncle Sam dabbing have been used the most, right? This is really powerful right here. Fourth of July. So July, Fourth of July. Men, gift, flag, American flag, boys, girls. And remember, this is the first page. It's where the ma main traffic is, right? It's, it's uh, you know, the best-selling T-shirts, basically, are usually in the first page. And if these are the main keywords that uh, keep repeatedly being used, right, um, that means it gives you something, right? It, it tells you that they have something in common. And uh, just, just look at it um, kind of objectively and see what, t what what sort of keywords you might want to use so dab we, we've looked at that before next so i think that pertains to v-neck tank top usa i'd use that baseball maybe you could use a fourth of july t-shirt for baseball right premium reglan um again you know you guys know what sort of keywords to use and what not what not to use uh, t-rex uh, dinosaur so dinosaur is in the main page again patriotic yeah so that gives you an idea and you could actually do um, what you could actually do is you could go to the next page and scan it as well from here so you could scan the next page and the page after and it shows you you know how many results have been scanned and then you could actually again pull the uh, keywords associated with that uh, with that page and and with those searches so it's absolutely fantastic uh, i like it if i just want to get an idea about all the keywords that are that have been used by a particular page bunch of searches so it saves you time and it really really does save you time um, and then click on it again and it comes up with more keywords right Cool. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to use my affiliate link. Again, it would be great to support this channel, especially that I provide everything for free, guys. So, guys, now that you've got all your uh, keywords that you want to use and you've selected your keywords, uh, you start with the title. So, um, just to save some time, I put Dabbing Ankle Sam. reason why I did that is because it's the main, main kind of keywords or, or string of keywords that I want to use. Uh, because the whole design is about dabbing Uncle Sam, right? And then 4th of July, so the celebration is the 4th of July. And then what that design is about, you know, what, what's that 
Uncle Sam wearing. Uh, the Uncle Sam is wearing the American theme or American flag. So really important. Just try and put the main relevant stuff and it's patriotic gifts. The reason why I put gifts and I didn't add t-shirt or anything like that is because all of those things are going to be appended into the title so you don't need to put tank top anymore you don't need to put uh, pullover hoodie or anything like that it will get appended to the title just make sure you stay within the 60 character limit uh, so i use this uh, lettercount.com website here it's for free um, pretty handy to have and in terms of bullets guys it's pretty straightforward just use your keywords that you've uh, collected and uh, put them into nice sounding sentences and try and sell your um, your products you know um, this design would be perfect for so and so so you know use um, sort of sentences like this you know if you are a uh, uh, you know fourth of july lover or you know if if you if you like celebrating fourth of july in style then this perfect design that says blah 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 would be perfect for you that kind of thing so sell it to them because you want you want to make the customers feel emotionally attached to the design um th that way they buy it and add some call to action so if you like this design da, 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 buy it now that kind of thing i think we've covered quite a lot in terms of how to find keywords guys i, I think you would agree with me here um you know it'd be great to show you how i build my listings but i think the video is getting a bit too long so let me know down in the comments if you'd like me to share with you how i do my listings in a separate video all right now to the part that a lot of people have probably been waiting for um or you might have uh, skipped all the way forward to reach this part but it's account updates guys um accounts is doing pretty well at the moment um what's the time now let's have a look uh usa time now uh, it's uh, half past four in the US so plenty more sales to make in the afternoon and evening and currently sitting at 120 um, sales uh, yesterday we did 179 the day before 167 and we did some German and UK sales as well so these are all US um, again for the sake of transparency guys and I like to be transparent Let's refresh, that way we we'll see the sales live and I'm just going to do this bit here and drop it down so you guys can see everything live. So yesterday 179, that kind of thing. Um, I don't do this to brag guys, I just purely want to show you what's possible. Um, if I could achieve it, you can achieve it, anybody can achieve it. All that it takes is hard work, dedication, ambition, uh, drive you know yada 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 uh, the list goes on you know if you're prepared to work hard and, and work smart then you will make make it much much better than me uh, and i'm by no means the best person in uh, in the merch scene there's a lot better people than me but i like to share my um success because I want to make you feel guys that you can actually achieve it because once upon a time I was in your shoes you know I was in tier 10 and it was really hard to get out of tier 10 I had to grind and that kind of thing um, we're not going to make this video lo longer than what it should be so yeah um, this is purely just me sharing my numbers for motivation not to show you what a beast I am um, because I have absolutely no intention in that and I don't get any gratification from doing that so giveaway time, um, by the time I was uh, doing another shot of this video, because I, I do it in chunks, uh, I realized that actually we got like seven sales in the last five minutes or so. Anyway, giveaway time, guys. So I've decided to start a weekly giveaway, which is in the form of five well-researched niches. And I would explain my thoughts process behind selecting those niches. And there would be one weekly winner uh, who I will give those niches to and, and explanation and everything like that. Um, again, you've got nothing to lose and everything to, to gain. Uh, you know, in those niches, there could be your best seller. Who knows? Um, but yeah, there would be one weekly winner. And all you have to do is you must subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell button. Leave a comment saying pick me. So pick me and like this video. Um, by the way, you could like and comment on my other videos as well to increase your chances. 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care guys, goodbye.